Record. All right, so this is the standard CSR wheel. Uh, at this point, we've already gotten to where we remove the first front allens uh, off the face of the wheel, and that's the first part that you do. Um, to be able to get to a screw in the back, uh, as well uh, as the five screws in the bottom, which I'll point out after I get this wheel off where they're at. Um, but right now, let's take the front wheel off. And then in here, you'll notice that I already have it unplugged, but this plug was connected to this one right here. It's still in shot right now. Yeah. Um, so now there's like this kind of like this glue material that you'll find all gooped around it. I just took a simple flat tip, you know, scraped off some of the glue, and then you were good. You can get your hand in there and be able to push the tab down, disconnect the wheel, and you're set. So you can set that off to the side. Now at this point, what we're doing is there's like four uh, uh, Phillips screws in the base here that we're going to remove, and then we'll be able to get to the actual base cover itself to, to expose the components. All right, at this point, we've got the four screws off, and uh, you can remove the front base. Just let it hang down to the side. It's not going to hurt anything. There is an Allen screw right here, and then there's five screws on the bottom. And uh, see if those are in shot. Yeah. Uh, if you look at the base right here, you'll see those three holes for screws uh, here, here, and here. And you got one right there, and you got one right there. So once you get all uh, six total removed, then you can actually remove the base here. So go ahead and angle down just a little bit there. So we're going to just gently remove the base cover. And there you go. And that's the internals right there. Okay, for this part, this is something that comes with uh, the shifters, is a, uh, this type of cable. PS2. PS2 cable and uh, you can cut the end off on both ends it's an extra cable you're not going to use um, and wire it up for the shifter so you can see here we use the red and black and we just took the wire itself ran it through the base right here now you now the plastic clear jacket that these wires are protected by inside the cavity you can use something like a, like a small screwdriver tip to just kind of like press the plastic out of the way inside the hole guide the wire through and then it comes out the other side and you're done and that's it so uh pull the whole length out and just keep it that length so that way you'll know you can cut off what you don't need later but the main thing is is cutting the the wire itself off at about to the head get yourself a good decent length between the black and the reds the colors i picked and uh, then next step is soldering out to the wheel all right we've got here's a sequential shifter for the csr you can see that uh we could already got the screws out for the lid and with the three places are right there so we'll go ahead and pull off the cover and then that's the internals and uh, since we're not really going to use this for anything other than a handbrake you can remove that PS2 connector and get that out of the way you can literally cut those wires off and be done with it because all you need is to be able to solder to these two points right here run your wires underneath and then come out through the pre-made hole for the PS2 connection and you don't have to do any modifications to the body of the shifter itself and uh, so you have like a rig with uh, only access holes for the standard connections. You can be able to just run it through the same hole, no problem. It's pretty straightforward, easy to do on that. All right, so uh, we got the wire soldered. And uh, see so if we can get a little cl more, better close up of that. And uh, let's go ahead and bring this in a little more right here. So we got the wire soldered to the B button. And uh, the next part is making sure that the black uh, a thicker part of the wire. Now you can either cut this back a little further than we did, but just to help prevent it from getting uh, uh, squished between the board and the base of the uh, hub where the wheel connects to. So just try to be able to, uh, I would recommend honestly cutting back at least another two inches back from where we were at just to make it a little easier on you. Now because we just tried test fitting it earlier and it did give us a little bit of trouble. We were able to find a way, find a way around it, but we realized it would be easier if you just cut that back. So heads up on that, and now we're gonna reattach it to the base. Okay, uh, so what we basically did is we ran the wire straight through. We, uh, let's see how I do this, there we go. Down, okay, here we go. You can see how we ran the wire out from the, uh, the uh, tunnel, and then up through here. And we actually came out through the side where the uh, where the, actual, the two poles that are supposed to hold the shifters into. We just pulled it through one of the holes so we didn't have to make our own hole at all. Uh, since that's not being used uh, for this rig, it actually turned out to be pretty well, so no uh, physical modifications of the body at all. It's pretty sweet. All right, so we got the shell back together. 
the five screws in the bottom are back in, but the one we did not put in is the one that goes right there, which is the Allen, it's a black Allen screw. So you have like five silver Phillips screws and one black Allen screw right here to be able to take this shell off. You don't even bother putting that back on. It's not necessary, it's up to you if you want to. It's just in case something happens or whatever reason you want to take this shell back off, you don't have to pull the whole hub to get to that. All right, um, yeah, so we already saw the two leads into the uh, uh, switch right here. They're actually on behind this. And uh, we ran the wires through the cavity behind the shifter. And it's actually a pretty easy space to get behind this. And uh, run the wires, kind of squeeze them underneath the, the plastic uh, body for one of the screws and then out the PS2 hole or where the PS2 connection used to be. And that's that, it was pretty easy. And it'll work straight up. Tell them about the switch. Oh yeah. What was it about the switch? That you can pull it out. Oh yeah, you can pull these switches out. You can take like, a little screwdriver, you can pull a switch out, and uh, solder the leads in, and you'll be done. And put it back. All right, we're gonna test the uh, handbrake on the standard CSR wheel uh, with the Elite pedals, and uh, John is assisting me with uh, holding the handbrake still since we don't have a mount for it yet. But uh, I don't know if you can see it in the telemetry, but it is uh, lighting up the handbrake bar. And uh, let's give a quick lap. And I would say that is a job well done. So All right. I think we're good. Yeah.